Hey everybody, how you doing? Dash and Dave here again. Quick tip, DoorDash red card. You do not need a DoorDash red card for shop and deliver in order to be eligible to Dash. I reported, you know, about two weeks ago that my red card broke and I have not ordered another one, which is fine with me because I hate doing the shop and deliver. Okay, so I got four or five of those a day that I declined. Every once in a blue moon I'd take one. You know, for one item, seven dollars, yeah, I'd do that. That was plan B, by the way. <laughs> All right. One of my viewers, Lisa G, commented, you know, I must have missed that video. I heard you commenting about that. You know, how do you do this? Well, I, I replied to her in the email how, how you do it. You just go to settings, red card, and then at the bottom of that page is mark as lost. When I did that, I got an immediate text message with a link, you know, saying, hey, you, you reported your red card is lost. You know, order another one here. It costs zero. You can get one at the DoorDash store, too. I've, I've ignored that. So, yeah, you do not need to have a red card in order to dash. I remember when I first started with DoorDash over a year ago, uh, it, it was the red card was in your activation kit, and then I got a couple text messages saying, you know, in order to keep dash, you need to activate your red card. Well, I didn't. I took that as I need to have it, but it was like, no, you need to have it in order to do shop and deliver. So anyway, you don't need to have an activated red card to do, to dash if you don't want one. In my market at the Hy-V store, the grocery store that has a floral department in there, I did do some Valentine's Day delivers and some Mother's Day deliver flower deliveries that we did on the red card. And I had mentioned that to Jody, the floral manager there, that I probably wouldn't be doing that anymore because I, you know, I'm not going to carry a red card. She goes, "Hey, we just got the notification. Just came across the pad this week that DoorDash is changing that, and those will now be prepaid." So. It'll be walk-in, grab-and-go versus paying for it with the red card on the floral, at least in my market, with high v So that's good. I won't miss out on those. Those days weren't as spectacular as uh, I'd kind of hoped anyway. But, okay, so DoorDash red card, you know, hey, if you love Shop and Deliver, get one, activate it. If you don't like to Shop and Deliver, don't get one. Or if you've got one and you want to get rid of it and you're doing the, the great reset here, the AR reset with the Accept More, Earn More, and you declined a lot of those, shop and delivers and that hurts your acceptance rating just go into your settings mark as lost and forget about it all right guys and gals that's all i've got for you today hopefully you can take something from this video and put it to use for yourself thanks for coming along for the ride and hope to see you next time